Hello students, I am Mohan Kumar, working as a lecturer in physics in S. Nijingappa Pio College, Raja Janagar, Bangalore. Today, I will be demonstrating figure of merit of pointer galvanometer. First, I will be explaining the theory part of the experiment, then I am going to demonstrate the experiment. So, my dear students, let's begin with the experiment. Okay. This is the name of the experiment, figure of merit of galvanometer. The aim of the experiment is determination of the resistance by half deflection method and to find its figure of merit of galvanometer. So we are finding the resistance of galvanometer and we are finding, finding the figure of merit of galvanometer. The apparatus required here is the pointer galvanometer, cell, mm -hmm. resistance boxes, two plug tubes. The principle behind the experiment is deflection in a galvanometer is directly proportional to current through the galvanometer. Mathematically we write I is equal mm -hmm. to K theta. Before this, we get I is directly proportional to theta. If I remove the proportionality constant, we will be getting a constant variable that is K, where K is called figure of merit of galvanometer. So, the required formula to find the figure of merit is K is equal to E by R plus G into theta. Now, how we get with the help of this equation? Here, K is equal to I by theta. I means E by R plus small r. Here, small r is taken as G. The symbols used in the formula is E means EMF of the cell. R means resistance in series with the galvanometer, G means galvanometer resistance and theta means deflection in the galvanometer. Now this is the required circuit to perform the experiment where we require two resistance boxes, the source, two plug key and the galvanometer. Okay. Now I will explain this circuit while doing the connection. Now then uh, E means the cell, nothing but the source. So K1, K2 means nothing but the keys, G means the galvanometer, R and S are nothing but the resistance box, the labeling of the diagram. The observation here is EMF of the cell, EMF of the cell which will be given, okay. Then tabular column required, this is the tabular column required to perform the experiment. So let us start with the connection first. You can see these are the instruments which is required for the uh, experiment okay. first you place the instruments according to the circuit diagram you can see here you have the cell followed by the resistance box then you have the plug key in between you have the galvanometer then one more resistance box and one more plug key you people can observe the instruments has been set up the same like that the cell resistance box plug key, galvanometer, one more resistance box and one more plug key. This you are going to choose it as capital R which is having a higher uh, range and this you are going to choose it as S which is having shorter range. Okay. Now let us uh, begin with the connections. First you can see here positive of the cell is connected to the galvanometer. Again to the same point galvanometer one resistance box of one end is connected. So I will make it common at the point G. So this is point positive of the cell. So from the positive of the cell we are going to connect the galvanometer. Red indicates the positive in the battery. So we are going to connect to the galvanometer. So there is no polarity in the galvanometer. You can choose any or any one. Then again from the same end as I told you, it is connected to S. So that is one more resistance, one more any point of the resistance box here. Okay. Now from the negative of the cell, it is connected to capital R. So from negative of the cell, it is connected to capital R. Then, from other end of R is connected to plug key. So, from other end of R, we are going to connect to the plug key. Okay. Then, from one more end of K1, it is connected to the galvanometer here. And again, one more wire I will come from K2. That is also again connected to the same point of the galvanometer. So what I do, I will make it common here. 
means I am going to make it common at this particular point. So you join two wires and make it common to the galvanometer where you are going to connect one wire to K1. one more wire to K2. Right? Now, we are left with only one part. You can see this part is empty here. So, only this part is left here now. You can see in that circuit, this is that line which is left. So, connect the K to S. So, take one wire and connect this. the key. Right, now this is how the connection is. So you can observe from the positive of the cell and then from uh, resistance box, both are made common to the galvanometer according to the circuit and then from negative of the cell connected to the resistance box and from one end of the negative it is connected to K1 and from other end of K1, it is connected to one more end of the galvanometer. Then, and one more end, of, and from the same end of the galvanometer, you are going to connect to the plug key, to the second key, and from the second key, you are going to connect to the resistance box. Yes. And make one very important note here is, in the circuit, I use both the keys here, K1 and K2. You can ignore this K. Directly, you can connect to this point to the galvanometer. You can ignore this K because in, while performing the experiment, we are going to we are going to close this K for both the uh, times. We are going to do two procedures here. One while uh, finding the deflection in the galvanometer, okay, and when uh, one more we are finding half of the deflection in the galvanometer. In both the case, we are uh, closing the key. Hence, you can ignore this particular key in the connections if you want. Now, this all the connection is. Now, let us uh, begin with the experiment. As you can see. The EMF of the cell is 1.46 volt. That you can note down in the observation. Now, before starting with the experiment, open both the keys. When I open both the keys, the circuit is set to open circuit. The current will won't be flowing here. And before starting with the experiment, make sure that you are going to remove some suitable resistance in capital R. So I have removed some ohms here. And make sure all remaining keys are tight. So all the keys should be tight before starting with the experiment. Now I am going to switch on the power supply. So switch on the, now I am going to switch on the power supply. Now as soon as you switch on the power supply, first capital resistance in R. You remove some suitable resistance in R, remove some suitable resistance in capital R so that you will get even deflection in the galvanometer. So, I already removed here, but this is not acting here because I opened this particular key. Now I am going to close this key and check the deflection in the galvanometer. I am closed. I am going to close this key and I am going to check the deflection in the galvanometer. So I closed it. Now that you can just see the deflection. Now you can see it is not an even deflection. We want exact even deflections here. So to get an even deflection, what I do is I will be varying the values. So that variation of values is done over here. So now 4000 is removed, so I will uh, make it to 3000 and check it again. So check the uh, deflection in the galvanometer. So again it is not even. So you can just observe like that. Till you get even deflection, you will be verifying this, you will be changing the resistance. Okay, now I, ju I just adjust. I just adjusted the value to get the even deflection in the galvanometer. What is that value? 2000 plus 1000, 3000 plus 500, 3500 plus 200, 3700. So for 3700, what is the deflection? You can just see in the galvanometer, the deflection is 20. The deflection is 20. It is even deflection. So that particular reading, you are going to write it over here. 3700, the deflection is 20. You are going to make a note here. Then after that, in the second procedure, S is equal to G for theta by 2. 
So while doing second procedure, we are going to close both the keys. This close, this key is already closed. I am going to close this key now. You can see in the deflection in the galvanometer it has come to zero. Now what is half of 20? Before it was 20 when I removed some resistance in capital R. Means when, when only K1 is closed, the resistance I removed was 3700, the deflection was 20. When I close both the key, what is half of 20? Half of 20 is 10. So to get 10 here, what is the value I must remove in? Yes. So I will be changing that value. I will be varying the value. Just observe, I removed 100 ohms here. To 100 ohms, check it out the reading there. Yes, we got 10. Now this 100, 100 ohms, whatever we got, this gives the resistance of the galvanometer. So that you are going to note here. You are going to note it here. Right? So first 3700 is uh, capital R. Deflection was 20. S is equal to G for theta by 2. Now what was the value of S when the deflection reduced to half. So here it was 20 to get 10 in the galvanometer to the deflection uh, in the galvanometer to make it as 10 the resistance was removed to be 100. Then the calculation part G is equal to RS by R minus S. All the data is known to you. R is this. G is this. R minus R minus G is equal to R into RS by R minus S. So R is this. S is this. You are going to get G. Similarly Next you are going to do the K value you are going to find. K is E by R plus G into theta. E will be EMF of the cell which will be given over here. Then uh, R capital R which is uh, your recorded here. Then G whatever you calculated here. Theta whatever you measured here. All the data you are going to substitute you will get the figure of merit of galvanometer. Next you are going to repeat the trial by changing the other resistance value. Go for some other resistance value and note down the deflection. And keep very one, one important thing in mind. The deflection you always take even deflection. Okay. The reason for taking even deflection is here you can see the number of divisions in the galvanometer. Suppose say if I take odd value, say instead of 10, if I take 11, what is half of 11? Half of 11 is 5.5. .5, so that 5.5 .5 is not there in the galvanometer here. So better to take even deflection so that that will be easier for the calculation as well as easier for recording the uh, readings. Then uh, as I told you, as I told you, for different values of R, note down the deflection the galvanometer, then half of that gives the resistance of the galvanometer, theoretical value of galvanometer. Now this S value, whatever you measure, that value will be nearly equal to the calculated value. Finally, you are going to calculate the mean of this and finally you are going to calculate the mean of this, nothing but the average value of G and the average value of K and you are going to mention that in the result which gives the resistance of the galvanometer, the average value and the figure of merit of galvanometer, the average value, whatever you are going to calculate this. So by this, uh, uh, I conclude the experiment on the figure of merit of a galvanometer. So thank you, one and all.